What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So as you see on your screen here, we're going to talk about Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Again, Jeepers Creepers 4. So coming to us from Jason Raymond, who's working as the visual effects supervisor over on Jeepers Creepers 4. He was someone I talked about in another video where they were talking about the visual effects process and how that was going along. But he stated recently that currently that his supervising of the Jeepers Creepers Reborn visual effects will be wrapped by the end of January of this year. So that doesn't really, again, tell us much other than, of course, the stuff that they're putting into the film that I would imagine has to do with the creeper's wings, uh, the creeper's talons opening on its head or whatever. You know what I'm talking about, like how at the end of the original when it got dairy and we had that last final scare that kind of stuck with me for many nights after the first time I watched that. Uh or the creeper's battle cry when he does he does his battle cry his tentacles to come out when he does his battle cry i'll just say the other thing that i think we should just start to expect over the course of the next coming weeks months because we know that germany i guess was slated to have the film in february i've talked about that on this channel that's what the date was australia though does indeed have it slated to come out in april so if they are going to be done with the visual effects in January, and let, let's say that's the final touches that was kind of keeping them from doing anything else as far as marketing wise with the movie, like another trailer of sorts, or I, I guess a first trailer, since we never really got a, a first trailer yet just yet. After they're done with the visual effects being done or finalizing those visual effects of the creeper, because I imagine it has to do with the creeper, the flying, maybe some blood CGI or CGI blood rather, and aspects of maybe the creeper being in Taggart's barn if we get that seeing the tentacles open up on its face so I'd imagine once they're done finalizing the visual effects what we can start to expect in the coming weeks and months would be them doing more of the marketing that they've been talking about doing like something with competitions see more cast interviews come out from like Peter Brook uh, maybe another cast interview coming out from Sidney Craven maybe something else coming out from Timo maybe something else coming about how they are or what direction they are going further with this movie giving us an indication of this movie actually opening up in Jeep, in the barn from Jeep Creepers 2. I don't think that you should basically just my honest opinion given how this the state of this franchise is with just how blacklisted it is I would say that with this in particular franchise if you actually are starting it off in the Taggart barn I would just be upfront about that. I wouldn't say that as, as a surprise because of course while it's still blacklisted you have many people out there who are willing to separate art from the artist and you have this you have this long overly drawn out sense of wanting to get that ending of the second film answered for going on almost 20 years i would just mo i would just use that as part of the marketing there's no indication that we actually are going to start off in the barn but there is an indication that taggart and his post puncher are relevant in some fashion to the story since we know that it was a prop that they had on set coming to us again courtesy of roman fari i believe is how his name is pronounced who was one of the art directors working on the film who came up with that recreation of the post puncher prop for jeepers creepers were born so if you're going to start your movie out in the barn i, I think you should start using that as part of the marketing I would just appeal to the ones that have been waiting so anxiously since Jeepers Creepers 2 thought Jeepers Creepers 3 was trash. It'll just use it as the way to get butts and seats for whatever limited release it has in the States, because I believe this movie is going to be much more successful internationally here in the States. I could see it just going a fathom event, maybe even a limited one week release, and then it's done going to VOD sometime after that. Whereas in the other parts of the world, it'll be in theaters for many weeks, maybe even a month at best and make more money there uh probably out, outperform anything it does in the states but in the coming weeks hopefully we'll get to see some more cast interviews and get a trailer that shows us hopefully better glimpses of what the monster will look like because we know again that jaru benjamin is the one filling in the role of the creeper taking up from what jonathan break has bought us in the past for the first three movies i know a lot of you are still on the fence about it at this stage of course i just i'm ready to see what can be brought to the table from someone that's not jonathan breck i want to see how the finalized creeper makeup will look how the finalized effects will look um i don't think that we will have to worry about having just going off of how they're taking their time with this project also i don't think we should be too worried about them giving us a direct rehash trash movie like jeepers creepers 3 i think we should kind of ease back on that and at least have have faith in the fact that we'll get something that's 
right behind Jeepers Creepers 2, if not on the same level. The only thing that's stopping, of course, would be the budget. <laughs> but even then, like, again, I've stated this in the past. It's not really your budget, but did you work within the means of your budget? Jeepers Creepers 3 is doing a lot of stuff that I feel like is going out of the realm of things you should have been doing with a budget like that. Uh, aiming high, but didn't have enough to produce high, produce high value shots or effects when they were doing all that weird Batmobile stuff. Mario Kart S crap with the truck. I don't want any of that in this fourth movie. Um, the little visual effects update from Jason Raymond is nice to have. So hopefully coming in the months of February, March, leading us into April, we'll get to see some more marketing take take place before the movie has its theatrical release in April. I'm still assuming it'll come out in April in the States because April is when it's supposed to come out in Australia. And I'm assuming that we'll get it either right around the same time frame or maybe even a little earlier by the end of March, maybe. Who knows? They'll announce something soon. We'll get to see the movie. I'll come on here and I'll do my review. I hope I do not have to, because I didn't. I didn't have this channel when Jeepers Creepers Three came out. But I, I know I came home. I went on YouTube. Most of the reviews I saw for Jeepers Creepers Three, people were trash. Sad that they wasted their money on the tickets. So I hope I don't have to come on here and do that with Jeepers Creepers Four. Um, it, the most I hope I get to do is come on here, tell you you have a movie that, while it's not great, while it's not something I would say is the best thing ever, it's not on the same par with the first two movies. It does fall right behind Jeepers Creepers Two as now the third best in the franchise. I hope it's just something like that. I don't want to come on here and have to trash another Jeepers Creepers movie, even though I haven't gotten the chance to really do an official review. Well, I think in the past I did upload a Jeepers Creepers Three review, but. I haven't had a chance to up, upload a review of the, anything from this franchise as it relates to a modern movie coming out. So hopefully we'll get to see some pretty cool effects in the trailer and get to see some finalized things regarding the Creeper's Wings. I'm sure the Creeper's Wings will be CGI this time around. And hopefully we just get to start get to start seeing more of what they had in mind with this marketing. Because I know they talked about competition they want to have going on. We know that website is still a thing. Maybe Dee Wallace will have her own interview because I would love to know what Dee Wallace is thinking about as far as her contributions to this franchise but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video